will give up the power to transform to become stronger, faster, more alive. Hello and welcome back to the 80s Toy Museum. Taking a look at some modern toys that look like 80s toys. Another look at some Super 7 Reaction Transformers. Today, I'm going to be taking a look at Optimus Prime. Picked all of these up at Big Bad Toy Store over the last couple of months and wish I would have had time to go through all of them but just haven't had much spare time but uh, the three on the top here are still in stock they've got Skyfire uh, Prowl and movie edition Hot Rod still at Big Bad Toy Store the rest look like they're all out of stock at the moment they do have a Christmas Optimus Prime though uh, might be a little late for it to arrive and use it as a ornament for your tree for this year but uh i don't know christmas can be all year long there's a lot of people who celebrate christmas on uh, january 7th as well merry christmas to all of you folks we have a christmas coming up on that day so let's take a look at the uh what i like to call reaction master optimus prime and on their own i really don't have much use for four inch five points of articulation non-transforming transformers but they do look fantastic on the armored convoy transformers action master optimus prime truck and i'm going to be comparing it with the original action master optimus prime so yeah if you've got some old action masters vehicles and you don't want to not that the old action masters figures are all that expensive but if you don't want to dish out the extra dough on those original action masters figures plus they're not even mint condition then um even though these are a couple bucks more than they should be they're still cheaper and brand new some really nice artwork has all of the super seven reaction figures have really nice artwork of optimus prime on the front over on the back you get a peek at some of the other transformers available and unfortunately um these don't stand for some reason it would have just been a little bit more plastic here to allow it to stand but that's always an annoying thing about the uh, reaction transformers figures you need this little like gi joe stand or something like it if you want to stand it on a shelf instead of just hanging it on a peg and here's big red out of the package and he does come with his iconic looking blaster which easily fits in the hand. It can only fit on the right hand, looks like. Left hand is a fist. Right hand has not a hole like the original Action Masters have, but uh, like a gripping hand. And you can just feed that in there. I guess it's a little, a little tricky. There we go. It's been a lot of Optimus Primes over the years, so not really seeing anything we haven't seen before. Very limited articulation. It actually moves great. I was wondering if uh, this hip joint right here would get in its own way, but and it almost looks like it should. But there's plenty of clearance right there. You can see the uh, the curve they allowed here on the hip, so that this is important if you want to use him as a driver for an armored convoy that you picked up that didn't come with a prime figure or any of the other Action Masters vehicles that didn't come with a figure. He's able to sit perfectly flat. Looks like his uh, antenna is a little on the bent side, but it's pretty bendy plastic. It's not super like Mattel weapon, He-Man weapon bendy. But just by pushing it, it looks like I'm correcting it a little bit. Those smokestacks, not much give to them. And uh, detail on the back. Prime's always got the four little holes in the back of the head. And I'm noticing that the windshield chest here is a lot more recessed than I usually see it on Optimus Prime figures. Nice, bright, vibrant colors. See uh, cartoon colors on them here. Nice, nice symbol on the uh, shoulder there, too. Looks cool. Basic cartoon design. Let's bring out the um, original Action Master on transforming Optimus Prime. One just like this came with the New Year Convoy reissue. 
with a little bit of a different paint job, but here's a side-by-side -side, in case you were curious how these two match up. Yeah, this is more tune accurate for sure. This is more, we're out of ideas. It's 1990, or I guess 89 when they were designing this guy, maybe 88. We're out of ideas. What do we do? I don't know. Let's do Transformers as G.I. Joe figures. One of the Hasenfeld brothers may have been heard to say. So these two guys are, looks like the exact same height. Exact. Except for maybe just a tiny bit of clearance on the, uh, the antenna on the Super 7 one. Although this guy's melon is much, much thicker. I'm just curious if um, this gun that comes with the Super 7 one is compatible with the Action Master. I doubt it. No. You'd have to shave down the handle of this one. This Action Master Prime didn't come with a uh, prime looking blaster. He actually came with a gun that attaches to the side of the truck and it, it's just a totally original looking gun. Looks nothing like Optimus's blaster. And even though Action Masters were nothing to write home about, they actually do have a little bit more articulation than these five POA figures because in addition to lay going forward the knee bends and also they've got this G.I. Joe style of uh, bar in the lower waist area so they can sort of do the splits oh you can do a complete splits hey I gotta get another um, Optimus Prime so you can do the Van Damme ultimate splits here A couple of other Optimus Prime comparisons for you before I try to put them in the truck here. This one came with the New Year Convoy Takara Transformers reissue. It's a lot more tune accurate and a lot more similar. Putting these side by side now, this one looks more tune accurate and this one just kind of looks subdued. The um, legs and the waist are a lot more grayed up. Really nice uh, silver paint on the New Year Convoy Action Master reissue as well. And they also corrected um, just having the fists blue instead of the fists and forearms, which is what um, Jinrai, Ginrei, Ginrai, Power Master Optimus Prime had. And uh, for a size comparison of what Super 7's Reaction Masters look like, here he is next to a G1 Optimus Prime. He's about half as big as an original Optimus Prime toy. And another uh, comparable size is the Hybrid Convoy, which is technically a transformer. I say technically because the truck mode of this guy is, it's not good at all. So he can transform, but he, he doesn't, not here. Just uh, not really an option. Interesting. Putting these side by side, uh, this guy's taller, but his head is so much tinier than the Reaction Transformer. He's got a couple of other cool little features, like his chest opens up to reveal a uh, Matrux in there. And he's got some swappable hands, but he's always been just like really floppy. And the, despite being a little bit more of a premium figure, just really cheap cheap feeling what knockoffs used to feel like um i guess they could have made this one have a chest that opened up but i don't know i probably would have made him a deluxe reaction figure and added an extra five dollars onto the price tag although there is a version sleep mode i think it is the gray one that has the uh the matrix visible so the big reason i wanted to do this video is for anyone who wants to hunt down this truck and uh, if it's missing the figure, just so you can see if you can get a cheap alternative, because um, as soon as there's a missing part, uh, prices of toys go down quite a bit. Let's see if he fits in here while he's holding the gun. This doesn't seem to be an issue. So that's impressive that he can actually fit in there with the gun. And I... Um, I also wanted to mention the original one, it's not like it fits perfectly. 
pop the original one in there and when you close the top of it here it hits his uh, I guess what what used to be smokestacks in there I remember when I was a kid and I had this thinking this was kind of a poor design right here you can see this little part right here is hitting the figure's shoulder in there so you just kind of have to squish it in there and he fits it's just it's not nice when um actual clearances aren't taken into account for something like that i'm going to uh just pull the gun out here and pop them back in this one seems to fit in there really nicely and looks like he doesn't have that issue uh, he's sitting in there nice and deep a lot lower than than the other one is i did another action masters video where i tried putting one of the figures in here and he sat really low and uh what you can do is put a little something under there i don't know like a some sticky tack or the the cap of a water bottle or a pop bottle or something like that just to get him up a bit but it seems like just sitting him in here without anything Kind of the same issue. I'm hitting the smokestack on on one side or the other. So just like the original Prime, looks like the smokestacks are going to get a little in the way if you've got those hips bent a little bit like I have right here. If you sit them completely flat, then he's got tons of clearance. He sits really nice, but he looks like... I'll move this. Um, this didn't come with the Armored Convoy. I think this came with Snarl or one of the other... Dinobot Action Masters. He looks like a little little old Granny Prime is peeking up over the dashboard, trying to drive there. So he fits, but he could fit better. Raise him up a little bit. It's not bad, but uh, it's definitely not better than the original figure that was included. But there you go. Um fairly affordable alternative to an Action Masters Optimus Prime. These complete go for quite a bit these days now, which is just wild to me because I remember seeing them on eBay about 10 years back going for next to nothing. No one wanted any Action Masters, even if it was Optimus Prime in his truck, complete. So that doesn't look too bad. It's, it's not the setup I'm going to go with. I'm going to just, uh, since I have it, I'm going to have the original Action Masters Prime in there. But Prime is one of those guys I don't need to have every single Optimus Prime ever made. But I'm sure I can find something to do with this guy. Such as make one of the giant Transformers look even bigger. This is the G1 Optimus Prime next to Omega. And they're not really in scale with each other. This Optimus being basically half as big as Omega Supreme. Whereas if you take the Super 7, that looks a lot better right there. That looks more scale. And he can even kind of hunch back as if he's looking up at old Omega. So it's kind of like those little nano figures or micro G.I. Joe figures that you can use with uh, Masterpiece Transformers in order to give the illusion that the Masterpiece Transformers are a little bit bigger.
Oh, 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 oh,